If like me, you find that you have quite a racy mind, a fast mind, then um, here are some tips that I found have really worked for me. First of all, I try and distinguish whether my mind is racing and excited to do with good things or um, and exciting things or whether it is racy and um, fast but in a in a um, mode of anxiety now i've had to distinguish between the two because sometimes my mind is just going from one thing to another to another like it's really excited and it's thinking of ideas and it's really creative um, and sometimes that because i've because um my mind has um has started this pace of being really excitable and and um even if it's in a good way sometimes it seeps in to um the parts that maybe i don't want to feel so anxious about or um, i don't want my mind racing about and then that turns into anxiety and so usually i try and distinguish between the two when i do find my mind being quite fast and and racy and then what i realize is usually they say calm your mind and i totally agree with that but Sometimes it's so difficult to focus on your mind and and even the concept of being calm because everything is going ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and so um, what I found is I focus on my external. So then I'm like, okay, what can I slow down around me? I can slow down the pace of my my words. I can take a deeper breath. I can, between my words, um, I can um, slow down how fast I'm typing. I can slow down how fast I'm walking. Um, I can slow down how fast I'm driving. I genuinely, generally find that when I am quite, um, when my mind is quite fast paced, every single thing I do becomes fast paced. I eat faster. I drive faster. Um, I speak a lot faster. And so, um, just figure out your externals. What's happening right now? Are you switching between apps, which I find myself doing a lot because a lot of my work is on my phone or my communication with my family is on my phone and my friends. Um, and so am I switching between one thing to another to another? Um, you know, take take account of everything in your life and, and how fast you're doing it. And I found that really, really helps me. And maybe it's a case of reducing the amount of things you're doing in a day or that you're trying to fit into a day, switching from one thing to another to another. So, um, yeah, I have spoken about anxiety before, but what I have been reflecting on is that it's not always a negative thought pattern that's fast in my mind. I just have quite a fast paced mind. And of course, meditation, it really grounds me and roots me. And it's definitely the anchor for me. But there are so many variables throughout the day. There's so many things that affects my mind just after my meditation throughout the day to the evening. But what I have realized is whether it's from good things or whether it's from things that I feel anxious about, both can be quite exhausting and um, both take up a lot of energy when your mind is moving from one thing to another, to another, to another, and often can go off track as I've noticed in myself. And so I think the point of just slowing down, it's such a simple tip and I'm sure you've thought of it before, but really just just focusing on every single part of your life and where you can slow down in that moment is um, for me has been such an important part of, um, of conserving a little bit more energy th during the day. And I feel like everyone could deal with conserving a bit more energy in their day, you know? take account of it and um, maybe use this week and let me know how it goes. And if you don't have a racy mind, well, good on you, mate. Good on you. <laughs>